Okay, thank you, thank you very much. Let me start by uh, thanking Ecopies for inviting me to this uh, uh, to their uh, annual uh, uh, conference uh, addressed the uh, Green Blue Deal. And uh, let me just send my regard from uh, uh, here from uh, uh, Ramallah uh, in the Occupied West Bank. And I'm really very pleased to, to present my view and my remark on the Green Blue Deal uh, uh, just announced by uh, uh, Ecopeace uh, Middle East. Uh, as a Palestinian, uh, when I'm reading the, uh, the deal or the Green Blue Deal, I really like it. Uh, I like it for many reasons, and I will say this reason why I do like uh, the Green Blue Deal. With some reservation, I will just uh, uh, highlight this reservation uh, too. The first thing that I really welcome the, uh, uh, the reference to the two-state solution, which is something that uh, missing uh, these days here. Uh, so the eco peace Middle East still uh, relying on the uh, political vision and the, the political framework uh, for the region under the, uh, uh, the two-state solution and the 1967 border. This is, uh, it's seen very much appreciated uh, by me as Palestinian uh, who's living under occupation. The second that uh, how, how the Green Blue Deal addressed the Palestinian issues. First, let me start with the, with the, uh, with the title. Uh, you know, this is the global trend these days, uh, uh, whether from the United States, the, the Green Deal or the European Green Deal. I like in the eco, the uh, eco peace Middle East, the, the, the word green, uh, the, the word blue added to the green deal, which remind of the importance of addressing uh, the water issue. And also it, it says uh, how much important addressing what we call the nexus in the green blue uh, deal. So, this is uh, 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 this document or this uh, initiative is, is is talking about nexus actually, and uh, this is uh, wherever we go now, all people talking about food, energy, water, uh, nexus, and uh, in relation uh, to climate change. Reading the document and as of concern to the Palestinian territory, uh, uh, if I'm the one who's writing it, I couldn't really write more about what has been written about Gaza, the two million under blockade, whether by Israeli or by the Egyptian, the two million who's living under a severe uh, uh, life condition, the two million whose uh, the water available for them doesn't fit for human consumption, the two million who lives uh, uh, with uh, uh, under a threat of the pandemic, under a threat of uh, a shortage of energy, shortage of food, shortage of water, and uh, 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 they're living under occupation. Talking about the West Bank, I really also appreciate the call of Middle East, uh, the eco peace Middle East for the resolution of the water right. Uh, 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 when I read this document, it, make me, it makes me really uh, comfortable and relaxed as Palestinian. It encouraged me even to, to uh, uh, um, to become party to, 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 to this vision. Uh, uh, you know, the, the, if you read the document, yes, it addresses different uh, projects. It addresses different issues that uh, Middle, uh, that uh, Ecopeace Middle East has been working in the past uh, decades, but also it, it highlights the importance of addressing the green blue uh, uh, deal as uh, a framework of different uh, issue. Talking about talking about the, uh, for example, the one uh, uh, project or the one uh, approved concept of the uh, project, where also the intent, the middle, uh, the eco peace middle east intent to work on the uh, on this and encourage also the international community to help them on carrying out this. When I start looking, where's Palestinian on the WIN uh, uh, project? So uh, uh, the Palestinian can be embedded in, in, in this. Uh, and if I understood it well, the WIN project talk about the reverse of water in the national water carrier to the Tiberia Lake, to the Sea of Galilee. And, and you know, also this, uh, 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 this water that 
sent or transferred to Jordan. But the new thing in it is for energy, which is a lower cost energy that comes from Jordan to help on this reverse uh, of uh, the 300 uh, million cubic meter. So we can see where Palestine, we can also uh, uh, have the project regional, okay? And really I call to, to address the Palestinian component within the WIN, uh, uh, within the WIN uh, project. The problem here in the in the Middle East is that we start things, but we didn't build on it. And I, I mentioned, for example, the the, the Dead Red Canal. Uh, I led the negotiation on behalf of the Palestinian on the Dead Red Canal, and we signed in Washington the famous regional water sharing agreement. And uh, 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 but now we don't hear about the project. If we do have a problem with the vibe, the 200 kilometer vibe, we shouldn't have a problem having the three party keep talking to each other. This is the most important that we have to keep in mind. This is the most important that we have to keep that the three parties uh, 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 gathered together and negotiated even for 10 years because things here, you, you know, it takes time until you get agreement. But the most important thing that even after 10 difficult years of negotiation, we were able to sign an agreement. And uh, I signed on behalf of Palestine with the Jordanian minister, as well as with uh, uh, the Israeli uh, minister, and we signed uh, the deal. Now, talking about the Dead Red Canal, we have not to forget that we do have a crisis and we do have a dilemma that's happening and shrinking on a daily basis, the Dead Sea. And the Dead Sea doesn't belong to the Jordan, Israel, and Palestine. This is considered as a, a world heritage. So we shouldn't really forget while working on addressing the Green Blue uh, Deal uh, uh, projects and initiatives that we do have a problem that we have to, to address. What I like also in the Blue Green Deal, the call of uh, uh, Eco Peace Middle East to resolve the water right issue. Because as Gidon said in his presentation, that the situation as of 2020 differs completely from the time that we signed the agreement in 1995 because of the plenty of new water, the non-conventional water, the desalination and the recycled uh, water, which really changed the paradigm, which really should encourage the party to set and resolve. We don't need to have uh, 300,000 uh, problems to fight over, but let's having water just a bar. Let's have water because we do share water. Let's just have it out of the of, of the conflict. And let me tell you, Gedan and uh, my friends at Eco Peace, we the Palestinian at official level, we did put an initiative to resolve the water right, which is really it can be really nested and uh, complementary to your initiative where we invented what we call the transitional period, that once the party, Israeli and Palestinian, set to resolve the water right, the implementation, it will be over time, and the, the presence of a new water will help the party to, to, to enable such agreement. So Israel will not lose water, and Palestinians will gain their water over, over time. And because you said also in your, in, in your initiative, uh, my friend Nada, Diana, and Gedon, in the Eco Peace Middle East, you said that water also is, is, is an issue of sovereignty and land. The, the most important thing in the document, you said that, that this issue is solvable, and this is a win-win because other, other issues of conflict like refugees, Jerusalem, border, it's a win-lose, but the water, it's a win-win. And here I extend my hand, even I'm, I'm, I'm an official. Okay, I'm sitting here, advisor, ranking minister of the negotiation department, and I will be your champion with the Palestinian community to start working, okay, on having a solution of a shared water and environment. And Mickey, thank you for your uh, uh, nice word. You're sitting at the Knesset. You know how you enable a Palestinian Green Deal? And let me tell you, it's not a secret. We, I had a discussion with His Excellency, the Prime Minister, about launching the Palestine Green Deal in 2050, because this is the trend. And this is something that we have to address. And because if we don't address, 
it's really worsening the problem in terms of water, in terms of environment, and in terms of, of the political conflict and instability here. And His Excellency is studying that. And, and the, the appointment of His Excellency John Kerry to be the special envoy of the president for uh, uh, the climate change, this is also a good sign because of the role of the United States here in the Middle East. The European deal, the, His Excellency, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, when he calls to, to establish a regional uh, champion or a regional and uh, international expert addressing the climate change, uh, 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 you will find many, I say Israeli Jordanian, but Your Excellency, I have to remind that the, the, we're not here talking about the trilateral uh, uh, countries. If we're talking about the Jordan River Basin, we shouldn't forget the Syrian and the Lebanese. This is how international law says that they are riparian in the Jordan River Basin, and they should not be forgetting. And we do share water and environment with them, and they have to be included. And it's not a secret. I tell you, I hear from my good friend, Fadi Kumer, who's managing the water in Lebanon. He said, Lebanon is ready with the consent of the Lebanese minister to endorse the Dead Red Canal if Israel allow Lebanon to build a Saki Dam over the, the Haspani. So as you eco peace Middle East, it, it, it try to de-link water and environment from the political conflict, please don't forget Syria and Lebanon to be included in addressing a blue-green deal for the Middle East, because they are there, whether we like or we don't like, they are there. I don't want to talk long, but I really appreciate your initiatives. And I tell you, you have partner here in Palestine, as well as you have partner in Jordan. And because if we don't address now, because we do have water scarcity and the consequences of a climate change, whatever adaptation and mitigation measures, we cannot, we will not cope if we don't put our hand together. And my words to Her Excellency Mickey, would you please enable Israel to approve a green Palestinian project? Because we are we, we're signatory to Paris uh, Protocol. Israel signatory to, to Paris Pro Protocol. We put a target to, 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 for diversity of resources and to, 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 to achieve 10%. But we weren't able because we don't have access to, to the land classified sea because it's controlled by the Israeli. They didn't enable a green project for Palestine, because this is the land where we're having, but it's under Israeli uh, uh, occupation and the strict military uh, orders. But with your work at the Knesset, you can enable the Green Blue Deal. You can just permit a green project. This is what we need. This is how we change the paradigm, as you said in your, in your, in your text, changing the paradigm now in 2020. We are a human being. And we have right to equal rights, Jordanian, Palestinian, Israelis, Lebanese, and Syrian. Okay. And we are sharing the environment and we are sharing the water. And if we don't really come to a, 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 together around one table addressing these shared issues, we will pay a heavy price. And, and let me say also for our friend in the Gulf, you know. The whole world going green now, and the Gulf also, who's relying on the fossil uh, 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 energy so, uh, resources, have to start from now toward the green energy, toward the neutral carbon. Okay, because they will pay a heavy price in 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 a decade or in 20 years' time when the whole world, if Europe converted to zero carbon. No one will buy that uh, the oil from them, as well as in the state and in other countries. So we are all one village in this world, and we have to put hand to hand together. And we don't forget, even if we work and we engage addressing water and environment, because it's shared and because of mutual interest for all, we keep calling to end occupation. We keep calling to get our uh, liberty and our self-determination. And this is, it's an enabler for working together. And I conclude 
that the good work you did, Eco Peace Middle East on the Lower Jordan River, it will become a reality. What we need is the government to start getting engaged in, 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 in water, in environment, and I conclude, you, Israel, Palestine, we are both signatory to Basel Convention. We are both signatory to Paris Protocol. We are both signatory to the Convention of Biological Diversity. So there is obligation under this uh, convention. Let's sit together just to see how to fulfill our obligations. Israel has to enable the Palestinians to fulfill their obligation because of the good environment and for the good uh, uh, water. And more importantly, for our generation, Israeli, Jordanian, Palestinian, Syrian, and Lebanese in this land that we call it holy land, and we keep fighting for it. And thank you.